can grow YouTube show. So let's dive into the modern versus contemporary debate. These are apparently two different styles that I have been referring to as one style for a while. So can you kind of break down what those are? And um, we had some listeners write in asking about minimalist aesthetics Mm -hmm. and plants, which I feel like can get really hard for plant parents who want 5 billion plants. So I feel like this is kind of that umbrella, but could you kind of dive in and explain the similarities and differences? Of course. Yes. So people use modern and contemporary interchangeably Mm -hmm. and I don't blame them, right? Modern feels like what's happening now, but it's not. Modern refers to an era in the 1930s when things were becoming industrialized. So it actually spanned from the early 1900s to 1930 as we were building machines and fabricating new textures. We didn't have to rely on things that were natural anymore because all these factories were producing all these industrialized things. People were using finishes that did not look like they came from nature. So they were using a lot of lacquer, a lot of polished pieces, geometric shapes. They were keeping everything super minimal. It's very austere and it's very hard to live in. You know, you Mm -hmm. can't be cluttered and live in a modern space that refers to that era. Okay. Whereas contemporary refers to what's happening now, whatever is popular now. So contemporary is a word that we're going to be using to define spaces for hundreds of years to come. Contemporary is what's now. And if you're wondering what is now, Betsy, uh, now what is popular are clean lines, Mm -hmm. pops of color. So that foundation of neutrals I was talking about with those Mm -hmm. pops so that Mm -hmm. it doesn't feel overly colorful. Mm -hmm. Uh, Simple shapes. People don't want a lot of ornate carving. That's Mm -hmm. more of that traditional style. Yeah, definitely. People are looking for things that feel comfortable, that are family friendly. They don't want to have that formal living room as separate from the family room. They want a room that people feel comfortable in no matter which space it is in their home. Mm -hmm. So that's what's happening now in interior design. Every space is lived in. There's no, you know, we don't touch this. There's no sitting room. Yeah. Right. Right. And sort of looking for those very detailed furniture pieces has gone by the wayside and people Mm -hmm. are looking for simple, clean statements. Yeah, totally. And then where does minimalist fall in there? Well, minimalist is more of that modern style. When people were just really clearing off surfaces, you would not find shelfies or decorated Mm -hmm. shelves. It would only be very simple pieces. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so I think a lot of people are drawn towards minimal today, but we're more open to like having baskets for toys. Right. So the contemporary riff on it. Yes, exactly. So I think modern really speaks to true minimalism. Okay. Nothing, nothing that, you know, <laughs> yeah, nothing. You will not have to dust too much. I mean, right. there'll be surfaces and it's highly lacquered and bold primary colors. If there is color, it's a lot mm-hmm. of black and white. Mm-hmm. Again, things that don't look natural. Right. Right. So let's focus on, which I feel like that doesn't sound as popular as obviously contemporary, which sounds super popular. Clean lines. I feel like is something I hear people talking about all the time. So what all if I... Emma, what if I have a lot of stuff and I want clean lines and what if I have, and I want plants and I want the clean line, the calm, I feel like clean lines evokes calm, right? Like having just control and calm over my space, but I want, but maybe I have a lot of plants or I have a lot of stuff. Like what would be tips that you would suggest to someone to kind of effectively have clean lines, but in this livable, more livable way? I've got one word for you. Just one word. Okay. Doors, furniture with doors to enclose the clutter. Right. Okay. So if I do have like, who doesn't have a bin of cords, right? All the cords for all the game systems, whatever they put it behind doors. If you want that really clean, nothing is here. Look, but you still have stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You need doors on your furniture, opaque 
doors, not glass fronts, right? Right. Because glass fronts, I can still see the baskets in there. I can still see the bins in there. And then mm-hmm. if, if you don't have doors at all and only shelves, everything is exposed. Mm-hmm. And of course we can shove stuff in closets, right? To keep all that stuff at bay. But a lot of us live with stuff that we're going to be accessing every day. Mm-hmm. And so when my clients say they want very clean surfaces and lines, it means I'm finding TV stands with doors, right? Not just with open shelving. It means I'm finding a bookcase with doors at the bottom with doors. Yeah. At the bottom. And even like your, you know, coffee table that has storage or something in it as well. That's right. And storage that's completely concealed. So it's not a shelf on the bottom. It's like a drum coffee table, right. With a lift top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Things like that, that really make the pieces go away, but the items are still accessible. I can still right. just lift the top of the coffee table to grab my, you know, decadent throw blanket.